change in the overtime rules in college football. Now, moving forward, teams will re be required to go for two starting in the second overtime. And if the game is still tied after that, teams will then alternate two-point conversions until there's a winner. All right, let's get caught up now with the Huskers. Here's Big Red Zone insider Sean Callahan of HuskerOnline.com. Every spring, a story will emerge that maybe you're not prepared for. And I think the one right now, as we head into the final week of practice for the Huskers, is the emergence of walk-on running back Jaquez Yant out of Tallahassee, Florida. He has made himself a factor. He's over 250 pounds. He's a big physical presence. He's taken advantage of his reps. He's really not a walk-on. He had scholarship offers from Power Fives out of high school. He had to come to Nebraska, though, as an academic red shirt. I wouldn't be surprise if he's on scholarship here very soon. The secondary group is pretty established right now for Nebraska. You know who those main frontline starters are going to be. I think the challenge for Travis Fisher, though, is keeping that next group engaged. And that's guys like Noah Pola Gates and Braxton Clark and Adab Joseph and Isaac Gifford, players that he really wants to give reps with the top units. But obviously, they're not going to overtake veteran starters like Deontay Williams, Markel Desmuke, and Cam Taylor Britt. When talking to offensive line coach Greg Austin about his group from 2018, his first year to now, it is really amazing how far they have come. He said that first year they barely had five guys that could play at a Big Ten level. He goes, now we have at least nine. And the challenge is puzzling together those nine, just figuring out that grouping in the right combination. I think that will be the challenge for Greg Austin as he moves into this 2021 season. It's the home stretch for the Huskers. It's really been a 14 week journey here as they had nine weeks of winter conditioning program followed by five weeks of spring practice. And I think the priority has to be finishing out strong. Most importantly, going out and putting a product on the field here May 1 that everybody walks away with seeing the progress in this football program heading into year four with the Huskers in Lincoln. I'm Sean Callahan of HuskerOnline.com for KTV Newswatch 7 Sports.